since I've driven this car. So let's have a look. 2013 is the last time I drove this car. So, why? <laughs> my business is now eight years old. So when I, when I moved my car from my house into my business, that was the last time I drove it. And at the time, <laughs> the engine, I'd recently blown it up at the racetrack and hadn't driven it for a few months. So I limped it down to my workshop with a broken apex seal. I think it was chipped or whatever, I can't really remember. Um, but I limped it there to my first workshop and basically proceeded to pull the motor out um, with big plans of going um, bigger single turbo and all that sort of stuff. So what happened after then is I came across 20B, actually two 20Bs at the right price. So... This is as far as I got. Put the 20B in it and I walked away. Uh, I had accumulated a large majority of the parts I needed for this build at the time for the 13B. Um, I purchased my fuel system, I purchased the turbo, I purchased a bunch of other stuff. Um, since then I have pilfered and robbed pieces off my car to fit onto customers' cars over the years. I've sold the turbo, I've sold the fuel system, um, etc. But the engine, that ended up in here. So the engine for this car is going back into here and the engine from this car is going to here. <laughs> yeah, so I'm pretty happy about this. Uh, two reasons. I get to drive the car that I love the most, which is my FD. These cars, they're so much fun. They're, they're just, they're fun to drive. They're, they're quick, they handle, they, Oh, they're just, everything's cool about them, you know, and I've just, I, I built this car myself in my carport before I had my business, um, although this car here is the reason I have my business, this car is my baby. Um, it was also featured in Speed Hunters many years ago, uh, back when it was running, 
Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, strange turn of events. So the person that used to own the skyline that I built it for, John, um, he originally had planned to put a 20B in the, in, in the skyline at some point. In fact, I bought the 20B off him um, at some point. So it's kind of funny it's done a full circle. Now, I had never planned to put the 20B into the skyline, but I think it's the right move to do. Putting a 20B into an FD, um, from what I know from people that have done it, they um, it changes the characteristics of the handling and not for the good, not for the better. So I think for me, I want to be able to show people what we're capable of doing and it's also a good demo car for the business. So you know, a large majority of our customers um, are FDs. So it's, it sort of um, seems right to have an FD with the same sort of package that we can supply so um, and install. So um, that's sort of one of the, 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 the good things for me, being able to do it, whereas the Skyline's a bit crazy. Now I have shown people the power that the Skyline makes and it is fun, but it's not the same as it would be in an FD. So it's kind of, I don't know, the Skyline's a heavier car for example, so this engine um, that currently makes, I think, 450 horsepower or something like that, um, yeah, it's it's better suited in this car, um, and by the way, that 450 horsepower is just for low boost at the moment. Anyway, so what I'm going to do tonight is I've decided to look at putting the body kit on it again. Now, years ago, I bought an Arimemia AD GT kit. It is not an original kit, unfortunately but I will keep my eyes out for an original one and hopefully I can afford it. Um, but for the time being, I can get this one put on. It's already been semi-installed. Um, now that the car has gone to a panel beaters to have a new radiator support panel stitched on. That's why all the factory panels are, are back on it and all the gaps are nice and everything like that. So I'm gonna go mess that up with the RE Amenia ADGT kit uh, because that's what I wanna do. So, um, I want to go pull that down from the roof, and because it's Monday night, it's my pro-am night, and I know the guys aren't here, but they're all off doing their own thing um, at the moment, so um, hopefully we'll get some more BMW work done with them soon, um, but everyone's got commitments plus COVID, we've had a, had a few lockdowns recently, so I think, you know, in some ways that's pushed everyone around a little bit, but anyway, enough of me waffling and talking about stuff, um, I'm going to go pull this body kit down from upstairs, let's place it on the car, and get this project started. So this is what eight years of dust looks like. It's been up in my roof. Actually not eight years because I've only been at this workshop for the last six years. But still pretty filthy. Okay, now that I'm filthy again, and whatever else, I need to pull the car apart so that I can now put these parts on. So, yeah, now from memory, these didn't fit as well as I would have liked, and that's why I didn't probably progress as far as I would have hoped. Um, I should have, and now I'm kicking myself, I didn't buy a kit, second-hand kit off um, Yahoo some years ago, because it, um, it was a really, really good price. But at the time I needed the money for something else, so I didn't buy it. And obviously now with the economy, with these things and how much all the parts are, um, it's, I'm basically just going to have to make do with, with this kit. So there's only one other car that I know of in this country that has this kit, and I don't even know if it's still on the road. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so I'll be one of, one of one or one of two, I don't know, that I'm aware of. So um, anyway, let's get this car apart and see if I can fit up the um, guards and the side skirts and everything and make it look like uh, the car that I want. So let's get onto it. Alright, 
So, uh, back when I pulled it off the road, um, I mentioned that I had the front radiator support panel put onto it. And as you can see, it is a different color to the rest of the car. So, story goes, I purchased this car, it was stolen recovered, but deregistered. So in New Zealand, that means that the car has been written off, the, the number plates have been destroyed, basically the vehicle has been um, deemed unusable. There's no point, it's not cost effective to put it on the road. So uh, I've bought it, I've gone through the process of re-registering it, um, and doing that process we found that it had been in an accident at some point. And when it was repaired, it wasn't repaired properly. So I had to pay quite a large amount of money at the time to have the chassis rail pulled and everything straightened, um, which they did. But unfortunately, when they had repaired it the first time, they'd set up the radiator support panel, this piece here, in the wrong position. So no matter what I did, I could not get the bumpers and the lights or anything to line up properly. So when I had a friend as a, as a panel beater, we struck a deal. At the time I offered him some of my services um, to do with the security system back then when I was doing them. And in turn, he was going to help um, paint my van and fix the front of that car. Now, he did keep to his bargain to some degree, but this car took several years um, and then when I got it back, the workmanship is very poor. Um, we're no longer friends, by the way. Um, yeah, workmanship is very poor, so I have to go over some of it. The welding's atrocious, and my windscreen wipers, of all things, were missing. So they've been taken off the car, and there's also things like there's looks like paint stripper or something's been spilled on the car in places, and so now the whole car needs to repaint, be repainted. So it's those sorts of things that really, I guess, helped make me lose so much motivation um really left a sore point for me but anyway let's move along from that it's been several years i'm over it um but now is the time to get back into this car so now that the front end is off you can see she's all laid bare um i'm now going to start trying to piece on these um these panels and we'll see how it looks so give me a minute we'll get these on the car and see what she looks like Now, I can't remember if these go in any specific order, but for now... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this looks awesome. So I'm gonna go see if I can put the bumper on because I'm torn. I, 
I want to run the factory bumper, um, mainly because driveways, but as it was suggested the other night, I can get um, air cups to raise this up if I want to. The only down with that is I need a compressor, I need an air tank, and all that sort of stuff, and I don't really want it. Uh, yeah, the other thing, um, the RE MEMA bumper that goes with this kit, oh man, it's just so awesome. It just finishes the car off and it just makes it look so aggressive. But in saying that, I don't think I've ever seen one of these cars with a factory bumper on it. So let's see if it's going to fit, see what it looks like. And that's my compressor. Let's carry it. fitting 100% but this side oh, I'm, I'm really really happy with the fitment this side here all it's going to take is for me to re-drill some of these holes give it a bit more of a clearance they're just a little bit tight but already these lines are lining up perfectly the bumper's on it looks like it's going to follow the lines which is perfect it's exactly what I wanted uh, and then I just need to obviously bolt this guy on I can go there yeah, so there's a bit of bit of messing around. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a, just a couple of bolts to hold that side skirt in place, just because I want to get a real good look at this with the bonnet shut. Oh, and you may you may notice uh, I had the Ariamemia sleek headlight kit in it before. Now there was a kit that I've wanted for a very 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 long time, ever since I think I was a teenager, and we'd see um, Option magazine and and all the the Japanese. Um, videos and stuff coming over of um, them racing and 2 game and whatever else um, a lot of them had the sleek light kit and I just fell in love with them but uh, only recently I fitted a kit to a car and really unimpressed if I'm honest um, I didn't like that I had to chop into so much of the car and given the values worth uh, sorry given the car's value now I don't really see that as a as a thing I want to do so I'm going to be putting the, the stock headlights back in um, the sleek headlight kit in my opinion does look a lot better um, but lighting's pretty bad at night um, from what I know we're not allowed to run HID or anything in, in legally here um, as an upgrade and um, yeah and you've got to chop it like you've got to chop so much of this out to make it work which would basically render this car illegal um, I know it doesn't really seem like a lot of metal, but in terms of the, the rules and regulations here about doing stuff like that, we just can't do it. Um, and it would be a, a, a perfectly sad waste of a car. So at this point, I haven't chopped into anything. So, you know, it just sort of makes sense to, to do it that way. But anyway, um, I'm gonna go just loosely put some bolts in um, to hold the side skirt and the guard together. Uh, and then I think I'll call it a night. But 
It's looking so good. Anyway, I'll go do that and let's see how it looks and then we'll call it a night. Okay. How good is that? Oh, let's shut the bonnet. Yeah, let's shut the bonnet. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Grab this. Oh, yeah, man. That looks sick. Oh, I have wanted to see this body kit on this car for such a long time. Now I'm still undecided about the bumper. What are your thoughts? I don't know. I think, I think if, if it's all one color, it'd look the part. But I don't know, I think, I don't know, what does it look like from the side? Do you think the bumper sits too high at the front? I don't know, I, th I think it looks good either way. But yeah, shit, it looks good. Oh, so I'm, I'm so happy. I just love the squareness of these guards, but it still retains the roundness look of the FD. Like the, the kits, the kits that they've done, they, they really, you know, this kept the shape of the car. It, it, it didn't ruin it like a lot of them out there that do, like the wide body kits, like the, what would it used to be, the, um, oh, there's so many of them. Um, the bean blister kit or whatever it just ruined the shape um, just all these square lines and whatever else I mean this just this is just amazing anyway so that's enough for me tonight I'm really happy with the progress and for those wondering yes this is a genuine Aria Mimia um, bonnet um, it's a I think it's a, a it's extremely light. I can lift it with my pinky like that. You can see through it. It's dry carbon. Yeah, it's uh, it's amazingly amazing piece of kit. Um, so I'm hoping to utilize that in my build as well because I want to go V mount. So uh, yeah, but I'm super stoked how that looks. Maybe I'll look at bolting it up properly. I probably should get some Clico um, Clico clamps or clips, whatever you want to call them, um, so I don't have to use bolts. All they are is just a temporary fix so you can mount things um, without having to screw them together um, and that way you can piece it all together and get all your tolerances right and everything like that so yeah we'll see how we go but oh shit it looks good i'm so happy anyway on that note look i'm gonna leave it there um i've got some things to do like dinner and whatever else so um thanks for watching um i'll keep you with updates what's going on we'll be into this really really soon um to finally do it my way um yeah, so first thing we're going to be doing is the one, the other car that's going into painting. Um, so, but I will be mocking up everything, building the manifold and everything in this chassis um, so that it's ready to go into the other ones. We don't need to do any fabrication or anything for that car. Everything's done in this one and then we'll repaint this one later. So that way we can get both cars built at the same time. And I just copy paste, copy paste essentially. So anyway, um, keen for the, to the progress, um, keen to get this job up and running. Finally stoked, I've got some more motivation to get into my own things. Um, and then once that's, you know, a little bit far along, we're gonna rip into this, put the 20B in it. Um, hello cat. Um, yeah, we'll put the 20B in it and get that underway as well. So with the other projects, I've got a lot on my plate and a lot of money to spend. So let's get onto it and we'll catch you soon.